Smoothie here! Ah, I've got my proper camera back! So it means spending a little time in the shed. So today I'm going to be fitting my new needle for my airbrush and getting some Ocean Grey 2 RAF. I don't know if that's the right colour. I'm going to give it a go, but I need to put a base on there anyway. So let's hope so. And I'm going to be painting... My Toss Enterprise! And I have masked off all of the bits at the bottom of the engines to give you that nice little curvy look and chopped it all with a knife and all that sort of stuff. Really? Oh, I'm wearing a Star Trek t-shirt as well. A bit fat these days. <coughs> uh, it's going to set the airbrush up. Okay, it's time to be silly. <clears throat> uh, open that right up. I've got a new needle because I broke the last one, if I'm honest. I'm not being a good enough little smoothie about, oh my god, about looking after my airbrush. And for some reason, I'm spraying an awful lot of paint. Awful lot of paint which means I am pretty much in new needle hell. The spraying beautiful though. I think what I need to do is back that off. Do that. I've got a Badger 200 and it's a nice airbrush. I, th I, think it's, I think it's mainly a nice airbrush, if nothing else, because I've sort of learnt how it works and just when it's good and when it's bad and all that stuff. Sort of there we go. Now we're hardly spraying anything. <clears throat> so, the whole ship so far has been Royal Light Grey XF80. I don't know if that's right. Looks pretty good to me. I have masked up the little overly shapes that go around the bottom of the, uh, the top of the pylons, the bottom of the engines, and I've masked off around the rings that go around the top. And I'm on where are we? I'm on... Probably a little spread a little... Because it's a, because it's a single action brush, I tend to keep the pressure up slightly higher. But with a new needle in. Uh, wish me luck, I'm going in. I'm hoping you can see. I'm just going to check the camera on the back. Yeah, a little bit. Right, so... Now you can hear the damn thing kick in. I'm on a pillowcase, which is the new cool, if I'm honest. Uh, the paint is way too thin. Way too thin. I'm gonna be editing lots of this as we go. That might not actually be the truth. not actually a lie, per se. Not yet, anyway. I've added some more paint without thinner in. And so I don't catch any of the same bits again. I'm on a Battlestar Galactica box with a piece of um, polystyrene over the top. And then on top of that, I've just got the old pillowcase, just so we don't get stuck with any nasty bits. And that's the thinnest paint I've ever used. I think it might be time to just chuck some away. Turn the pressure up, see if that works. Can you see how I do things? It's not a direct science. It's about having fun and experimenting and making sure it's alright and if it's not alright you just find a way to get over it and start again. Such is the Smoosnonian way.
My paint is too thin. It's like a country and western song. So I'm going to take. Now, I've picked up another bottle of the same colour, so what I'm going to do is pour all of what I've got back into the old bottle, tap it out, and try the new bottle, Just whack it all in there. Yeah, that's a thicker consistency. And pray I don't do do any more needles because otherwise it's going to cost me millions and millions and millions. I also have, which you can't see, a big piece of cardboard attached to the wall up here. Just for test spraying. What's going on is a lot better. horrible feeling, I'm wasting my time because it's not working and I can't work out why I think I need a better primer the first time I've recorded in ages massive flop Try the engine. Doing the tips of the engines now. You know what? I've chosen completely the wrong grey. What I have discovered through the power of small mercies is this will be absolutely spot on making the hull look a little bit grubby. This new needle is beautiful though, very pleased, very pleased. Consistency is working a lot better now. Stop Dave, stand away from the model. Be back soon. Right, given this is my practice ship, as you can see, I'm doing a rust ring. I've got virtually no paint and very, very little pressure coming out. The problem with working with virtually no paint, the airbrush hates it. it tends to dry on the needle. Just, I'm doing the front edge more than the back edge and in the corners and the plan is that once, once I'm done with this and I'm sort of satisfied that I don't want to flood it too much, fill up the corners that because it had, when you see photos of the rust ring it's got quite a lot of bleed on it around the other panels. I just want to get the corners really, well, rusty. I'm just using a brown that I've got. I've mixed a bit of a um, little bit of white, 
little bit of uh, dark earth I think it's called and I've uh, sprayed some dark grey under there as well I don't know if you can see but no you can't on the rest of her <coughs> I've done some grey striping look so when you take all the rings off it's, it's too abrupt it's way too badass but when I do a tiny bit more and then I'm probably going to respray some of it down with the original colour um, I don't know, it's all learning isn't it? So, so there's the rust ring I think that's enough back in a minute Right, I'm going to be brave. As you can see, I've darkened in some of it. I'm going to be brave now. I hope this goes alright, otherwise I'm going to be devastated. But if it's not, just ghost some grey over the top of it again. I wish I could do decal paper. I would absolutely love, just because I'm a sycophantic git, the USS Smuzno. I'm sure you can download the fonts off line somewhere. Okay, so now we've got a rust ring. Yeah, it's quite a badass rust ring. And then what you do is, if you can, I don't know if you can see, yes, so I'm practicing. I've just, this is an old pillowcase, so just wind it back a little bit so you can see the paint come out and then push it in, so this, it, it's virtually not painting and that's about the right amount because then I'm just going to dust that in and do, I mean when you think of directionally, she's going off in I've got a new needle for the airbrush and I'll be honest, I hate it, it's bloody awful, it's too, too, it's too fine and it lets too much paint through, but that's the curse of not having There now, so as that slowly dries through, it's gonna well, just blend everything in. There we go again. So wind it back. I've also noticed that people tend to paint the corners over here a lot more vigorously. I think that would do. Might put some streaks in at the centre.
And if you think about it, the light, the damage is going that direction, hitting the front, so it's going to roll off the back. You're going to have an awful lot more in the way of markings up here. Looking through the viewfinder, it looks really, really intense. Looking to actually in person, it's a lot more subtle. That's it for now. Probably do a bit more in a bit. I'm going to go and do some grey and uh, ghost it down a little. Right, we've got some light ghost grey. And I'm just going to take down... I pray this works. <laughs> so, as, uh, on the pillowcase, yeah. It's not light ghost grey. Royal light grey. Royal light grey. Don't know if you can see it. Royal light grey. So, Royal light grey is the original hull colour. And I'm just taming. Rust ring. It went a bit vicious. What I am going to do later on is follow the circle of the dish where it starts to tilt up because they see it seems to it catches the light really nicely there. So and I'll be honest with you, having the camera there is a really good reference as to how she's looking. But she's looking pretty dark and dirty and dim and grungy and yeah! I love that. I love that. So what we're going to do is take some of this, because all this is all a bit too... Grrr. Can you see these lines? Where are we? Here. It's all a bit vicious. I might turn you a little bit. Very paranoid about the camera falling over, because we're at quite an angle. Very paranoid about the needle that's in my airbrush, because it's sticks out the front of the airbrush a mile which is scary uh, it's all scary 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 so uh, so yeah so I've got paint coming yeah and then dust that down look so this on the on above the fan tail went a bit overboard so just literally bringing it back to life just so it looks tatty she should be tatty I like that let's turn her up the other way like that make sure it's not going to rub on anything stay good girl and then take down some of these. Well, can't see a bloody thing. Let me move you. There you go. So yeah, these sort of vicious lines down here, just take them down with the original hull colour. I must admit, when I took the tape off, I was a bit sort of... Uh, but, uh, it's okay. It can be as good or as bad or... It can be as good or as bad as the patience that you allow it makes it. And that's why I'm not worried. Because there's no hurry, there's no deadline. Unlike the guys who make stuff for clients, there's no... There's no deadlines, there's, there's nothing. There's just me and my airbrush and 
Crazy, crazy Dave making silly models of airplanes and spaceships, which is the best thing in the world ever. Volume 2. Now, see, if I move you up a little bit, can you see how that hull is really starting to look just weathered now? She looks like she's, because she's all in the right direction, so she just looks like she's been out and about and had a little bit of fun and Captain Kirk bone some birds and... We all know that Captain Kirk loves boning birds! So I'm gently turn that up like that because the paint dries pretty much instantaneously if you use it in very small doses. So let's put loads of grey up here cover that and then cover that. You can just have patchy bits of really smeggy old ship. Just tone it all down. So even now look, as I change the angle of her, the rust ring is massively toned down look. She just looks like she's been out and done it and bought the t-shirt and I'm going to take that corner down a bit more, like that, and then again over there, dust it. And Patchy's fine. Let that dry for a minute. Right, she needs to dry now. Uh, this has been Smuzzy, back making models. Loads of you, I've done loads of stuff on SFMA, and no one's had a look. I'm very disappointed.